Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to show you how to test the secondary air injection system. Also, how to remove and clean it. First, let's see how this system works and the components of it. So, this system is basically made to reduce the emissions by pumping fresh air into the exhaust. This fresh air will heat up the catalytic converter faster. Also, meanwhile, the fresh air will help oxidize the hot exhaust gases, therefore reducing the emissions. This system is turned on by the PCM when the engine temperature is lower than 60 degrees or for the first 150 seconds. All this is important to know when diagnosing the secondary air injection system. Now let's see the components of this system. You've got here the switch over valve, shut off valve, the check valve, which is down here, this round thing where my finger is. And then you've got the pipe which goes around the engine and it bolts in below the exhaust manifold. Now, how all these components work, when you start the car, the PCM will turn on the switchover valve and it will take vacuum from the intake and send it to activate the shutoff valve. You can see over here this vacuum line. The shutoff valve will allow fresh air from the intake before the throttle. There is a pipe over here and it will allow the fresh air from the intake to run through it and send it further to the check valve, the round one down there. The check valve will allow the fresh air to go further into the exhaust, as I show you around the engine into the exhaust, but it won't allow exhaust gases to come back into the shutoff valve, therefore into the intake. Now you can already notice there are basically three electronics which are somehow related to this secondary air injection system. We've got the oxygen sensor, the coolant temperature sensor and the switchover valve. Let's start first with the switchover valve and test it up. So in order to remove it from the intake manifold, pull out this vacuum line from the shutoff valve. You just have here a little flap, just pull it with your finger, pull off the electric connector. Now to test the switchover valve, just connect 12 volts to it. I've got here a small battery I made and you should hear a click when I press on the negative terminal, it clicks. Now I'm 100% sure the switch over valve works. So I've got my probes on the electric connector like so. I'm gonna start the car and I should see 12 volts. So you saw that voltage. Now I'm going to install back the switch over valve. Now another simple test you can do to see if all the switch over valve works. Just start the car and you should feel some vacuum over here on this hose which is supposed to be on the shutoff valve. So you can easily check the coolant temperature on the dashboard. When you start the car, make sure that the coolant temperature rises. From now, I'm gonna begin with the shutoff valve. So with a 10 millimeter, I'm going to remove the nut from the bracket. I will disconnect again the vacuum hose. Make sure that you have some hose clamps in order to replace these one-time use ones. So I'm just gonna pull it from one side. That's great, now I can twist it. There we go. Here it comes clean air, you can see it's clean. Here you've got the exhaust. You can see that nasty stuff can block the valve. You can easily test this with a syringe and now and you could hear the release of it. Another easy method I found to check the valve. You can pour the water from the side where the intake is, not the exhaust side. As you can see, it's full. So what I'm gonna do, I will activate the valve and you will see all the water coming out from the other direction. There we go, it means the valve works. Now once I verify that the shutoff valve works fine, I'm gonna go further to the check valve, which is going to be relatively difficult to remove. I'm going to attempt to remove it. So the most common thing found on the check valve is gonna be carbon buildup. So in order to clean it up, the only way to clean it properly is to remove it, because if you spray throttle body cleaner or brake cleaner into it, that will go to the exhaust and when you start the car 
the fluid will go to the catalytic converter and it will destroy it because the catalytic converter is not made to purify other than exhaust gases. One way to test the check valve is to check for vacuum over here and you should find vacuum. If you see exhaust gases coming out of this way, it means the check valve is broken. So you can see over here the trouble code which have been generated after I disconnected the shut off valve. All right, so with the six mil, I'm going to be able to loosen the hose. In order to make much more space, I have to remove the fuel line. For that, just go on the fuse box and remove the fourth fuse for the fuel pump. Then start the car. And it should die like so. Now, with the 17 millimeter, remove the fuel line. There we go, almost no drop. The hose clamp comes out. And there we go. The hose comes also out. Here is the check valve and it's pretty tempting to spray some brake cleaner in there or, but that would be a big mistake. What you can do, you can see that Torx right there, it holds the bracket and then one more bolt. You can see how the bracket goes from the engine block to the pipe. Right, so I, I managed to remove the bolt which holds the bracket on this side. It was a E10. On the second bracket, I've got a E12, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that as well. However, you will have to remove the exhaust manifold in order to remove that bolt from the engine block, which connects all this air system into the engine block. Therefore, there is an older video I made on how to remove the exhaust manifold and replace the gasket. That might help you. The link is gonna be over here. Now the installation is the reverse process. So I reconnected back the fuse. I connect the fuel line back. As many of you ask me where this vacuum line goes, this will actually go under here. Over here, as you can see. There you go. Right, I've got here my live data of the oxygen sensor. As you can see, So you can see over here how I lean the system and then I let it off and it went rich again. That's how you test the oxygen sensors and that's how also the PCM will test the secondary air injection system by applying vacuum to the shut off valve and then the air will go into the exhaust and make the oxygen sensor read lean condition as you can see over here. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up it helps me a lot to make more videos for you guys and until next time take care and i will see you soon